Okay, so we're here post game. I'm here post game with Michael Scott and Ahmed Hill. The the I think I tweeted today that they are the most dangerous or the most impressive one-two punch that I know um, of Aquinas. The Fighting Irish defeated Ridgeview today, one of the best teams in the state of South Carolina, 4A team. And you guys bounced back from a loss yesterday that you probably want to get back. But congratulations on. on Big win, a big bounce back win, and you guys were making some tough shots. Did you have fun out there today on that? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. <laughs> have fun. Just we had, yesterday we didn't play it too good, so today I thought our team came out and played really good, and we did, and we got done. Yeah, you know, I, I selected uh, one of the plays and tweeted about it where uh, the tall guy on the other team, number 55, Jose Roman, um, got stuck on you out away from the basket. And, and, and their guys are saying, uh, use your length, use your length. And you blew by them and scored, and on the way back, you kind of put your hands up like this. Remember that play? Yeah. You made some tough plays in that second half. You know, scored um, in traffic over bigger players. Um, I know you've always been one of the smaller guys on the court, so you've always had to do that. But that in-between shot, that floater shot that you showed today, is that something you've specifically been working on? Yeah, my coach has been telling me that I should uh, try to go to more pull-ups and get to the free throw line, stop and pop and do that more, and then I'll score more points or I'll be more efficient. So I just tried to do that and it worked. Yeah. Yeah, I, they told me to stop trying to get so deep. So I just did it. Yeah. That was wrong. Yeah, sure was. Now, um, you guys have, uh, Coach Bernie Norris was telling me a little while ago that you've been, you know, hating to, to, to pile up a loss or two losses or three losses. So, you know, teams like Glen Hills, um, uh, James County, Evans, you know, higher classification teams that you've been challenging yourselves with. And I told Coach Bernie Norris that, um, you know, if you didn't hate to lose, he probably wouldn't want, want you on his team. So, but those losses are building character for January when region play comes, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So uh, it was very good to see you today. You got up, and then the other, Ridgeview comes back, takes a lead. Did you guys talk about, you know, hey, keep, let, let's keep going. Let's yeah, keep our heads up. Yeah, I just told everybody we're going to stay together and yeah, play hard. And the thing that happened, we just play hard, stick and stuck with it. We got done. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, Ahmed, before we go, I've got to talk about this real, really fast. I'm a coach, as you know, and you just ruined it for my players because I'm in the stands on the opposite side of where you're playing defense, and I'm hearing this guy, um, pick left, pick left, you're alone, you're alone, go under, um, shot, shot, block out, talking on defense, not just talking, yelling on defense constantly. And, man, that is a coach's dream. The guys that play for me now have a new standard that they have to live by. And if, they, if I don't hear five guys doing that at all times, they're going to be in trouble. Um, is that something that you just do because you're having so much fun out there and you're so into the game? Or did somebody tell you that you should be doing that? Because, by the way, you should. Yeah. But how did you, you start with that? How did you add that to your game? Um, because if my point guard or someone got a guard and, and say it's a screen, then get hurt, so it happened to me a lot, so I talk to him, let him know him by himself so he can pressure him or do anything, and coaches like it, and it's it helped my team out, get them motivated, and let them know that they by themselves, no screen, and they, they can play defense with no gambling or anything, so. I bet you appreciate that, not getting blindsided by those screens. Yeah, because I'm small, and you set a screen on me, big, 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 and I'm mad. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think um, tomorrow uh, you'll be back at it versus Jenkins, and then I think the next time we'll see you is versus Silver Bluff on January 4th. So, you know, ABR Live loves it when Aquinas is in action because we get to see the most dangerous one two punch that we know Michael Scott, Ahmed Hill, the Fighting Irish. Thank you for joining us.